And welcome back to another episode of Coffee and Stocks. In today's video, we are going to talk about a different SPAC. But before we get started, can I please ask you guys to drop a like in this video as well as press that amazing subscribe button. It does go a long way in supporting the channel. And we are so close to the 1,000 subscriber mark. We are only 23 yes you heard right 23 subscribers away from reaching that 1000 subscriber mark very excited i know we could reach it and let's talk about tuscan holdings with the ticker symbol of thcb currently going for 18 dollars 97 cents yes 18 dollars 97 cents now it is a spec We'll, we'll talk about that in a second. I do want to say that this had a huge increase of price since November 20th. It was running for around $10.30 and it shot up to around 84% towards the upside to its current price right now. Now, why did it shoot up that crazy? It's because on November 13th, right? Tuskin confirmed that it had signed a letter of intent related to a business combination with Microvast. Microvast, which was founded in 2006 by Yang Wu, which is focused on driving mass production EVs and battery technology, which is best in class charging speed, battery life, energy density, and safety performance. The company has been an innovative industry leader for over a decade if it's a leader in that industry you best know that you should get into that company as soon as you can now if you keep reading a little bit it has a clear visi visibility to future growth from its existing pipeline across commercial markets including e-buses vans trucks passenger vehicles automated guided vehicles forklifts and mini trucks so it has quite a bit of of plans for itself for its business to keep growing plus this letter of intent to combine its business obviously with tuscan holdings now if we get a little bit into what microvast is yes it is an electric vehicle power and solution provider now as you know right now the ev the ev industry is super 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 hyped there's a lot of people who are trying to jump in that industry because there is tons and tons of money that can be taken out of there. There's a lot, say for example, the you know with the new administration that's coming in, they are trying to go into a greener environment. There's tons of companies out there that are trying to come up with a lot of charging ports where you could charge your EV car, California trying to get rid of the ICE cars, tons of information. Even Finland is trying to get, get into it. So let's get a little bit deeper into who Microvast is. They have different solutions, right? Electric vehicle power solutions provider, clean city transit, vertical, vertical integration, applications, and different services. They want to drive safely with the ultra fast charging technology which is an electric vehicle uh, can be rich, recharged in 10 to 15 minutes. Your car could be charged in 10 to 15 minutes. I last time when my when my brother got married uh, a year ago, I rented an EV vehicle and it took me five hours to charge the car. Five hours to charge the car. I would have definitely preferred this over the five hours 10 to 15 minutes that is incredible long life our battery solutions last the life of the vehicle with no need for replacement reducing the cost of ownership of an electric vehicle plus you can purchase a second hand electric car without worrying about our battery now one we love to lower the cost of ownership of an electric vehicle plus if you don't have to worry about the battery itself that is a plus you have different EV companies out there like Neo, who is able to replace your batteries, but you then have to go into the service and they have to do the service for you. Um, so this is definitely a plus for me. So yes, it has fast applications. Yes, it has a fast service. Yes, it has 
a long uh, a longer life for your battery and that is pretty amazing to my knowledge that is pretty pretty amazing now there is a couple of highlights that i do want to talk about over 2 billion kilometers e range without battery safety accidents now obviously here in the us we don't measure in kilometers but that is a lot of miles uh, for the battery uh, safety accidents fast charging long life and safe they do deal with liion battery core materials vertical vertical integration from materials existing automatic production line and extensive production capacity for quality products they are already making products they are already making all these things since 2006 right 25,000 battery systems in operation board evs right they are in 16 countries in more than 160 plus cities zero look at right here zero accidents that is just amazing numbers that they've been putting themselves into you have headquarters in texas um, they have another micro power plant system in the uk they have a another one in germany another one in singapore and they also have a micro vast power systems in hangzhou china so that is pretty amazing they're in different areas they're in different countries they're in different uh you know cities they are already producing stuff and it's currently going for $18.97. I mean, yes, the only problem it does have right now, to my knowledge, is that they only signed the letter of intent um, and they haven't actually, you know, they're still in talks. They haven't actually, you know, confirmed the merger that they were going to have. Um, so to my knowledge, that is not good. To my to my point of view i guess it's it's not that good um now i personally haven't invested in this company i do want to see if they could reach a little bit more and you know finish that talks of the merger because of right now if it does stay at 18 dollars 97 cents without any news of the merger i feel like there's going to be some sort of correction which obviously i don't want for anyone who's invested in this company but I do believe there might be a little bit of correction to this company because there is no concrete merger news about anything, right? The letter of intent doesn't mean anything to me. Like that's, that's fine. That's fine, right? Your intention is to merge and to, you know, be acquired, uh, but doesn't mean anything. There's tons of other companies, other EV companies out there that have already had the talks of a merger and all of that and their numbers are around 23 25 dollars right this is only seven dollars under so definitely keep that in mind obviously i am not a financial advisor so i'm not going to tell you what to do they are in different areas like i said they do deal with buses mini trucks you know construction trunks construction trucks and all of that um so I think this is really great and all uh, the way that, that they present it to you. But I want a little bit more information about their um, their merger, because honestly, that is what a lot of people uh, want to hear and to see. If you're going to merge with a bigger company that has a, a lot more money, that has a lot more cash flow coming in. Um, therefore, you're going to have more and more investors coming in and investing in your company. We do see down here that the volume is 5.34 million, which is really great, actually. Um, but can we please can we please have a little bit more news on THCB? Um, I am going to wait myself a little bit um, to see if there is more news because this this is a lot of hype this is a lot of this is this is too high this is too high for me there might be a little bit of correction as you can see right here um and then if if and only if we do have and reach that uh correction and we see this gap being filled then i will uh, join into this company
but obviously you have to do your own homework and you have to do your own due diligence before uh, investing in anything and don't forget this is in the EV sector and you should be diversified in all sectors so don't put all your eggs in this basket but anyways that was today's video hopefully you guys liked it don't forget to drop a like on this video as well as press that amazing subscribe button because it does go a long way in supporting the channel and I do thank you for watching this video and for pressing that subscribe button if you ever want to see the other videos go ahead and click on any of these videos and i will see you guys next time on coffee and stocks